20 seconds. Stage one press play. 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off the Falcon 9. Drop AVIRC and GNC and proceed to procedure 3.170 for post launch flight operation. GC, move to section post launch pad operations to secure the pad on net 8. Moving to post launch pad operations. My performance is nominal as we head downrange over the Pacific Ocean, flying south from the launch site at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. We're passing through the region of maximum dynamic pressure right now. This is where the high pressure of the atmosphere combines with the speed of the rocket to provide the greatest stresses on the Falcon 9 vehicle. We throttle the engines down as we pass through this phase and throttle them back up as we proceed on into orbit. successful shutdown separation of the Falcon 9 first stage. The second stage engine is lit, you can see it there. We're coming up on three minutes as we head into low Earth orbit. Everything looking good. So as you just heard from John Insprucker, it, so it sounds like the uh, Falcon 9 first stage has successfully separated from the second stage, and the second stage engine has successfully ignited. It means we're on our way to orbit. The that you can get in moving that direction is, is going to be better for decreasing the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. And the last and final burn, coming up just a little bit later, is going to be the landing burn. That's when the first stage, uh, right as it gets close to the deck of Just Read the Instructions, slows itself down, opens up its landing legs, and prepares for a soft touchdown on the deck of the autonomous spaceport drone ship. Yeah, the fairing is kind of like, a, it's just a big windshield for the satellite. Satellites really aren't built to withstand intense aerodynamic forces, because they're meant to operate inside the vacuum of space. Um, so what we do is we lose that fairing as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, and that's where we are right now. Yes, and so, oh, look at that. You can see that the first stage squid fins are deployed. Now, those squid fins are powered by nitrogen thrusters, and they're used to actually steer and guide the rocket back down to Earth. Uh, they're useful both at high speeds when you're moving at very supersonic and, again, when you're starting to move slower, um, but not when you're going through the transition of the speed of sound. They become less helpful. All right, we're going to go to John I. <laughs> We're at T plus five and a half minutes into the flight. Second stage continuing to head downrange as we go into what will be the first of two orbits, the low Earth orbit, followed by a coast phase, then a reignition of the second stage engine later on this morning to get the 10 Iridium satellites into their final orbit. And we're coming up on the engines. We have boost back run. You can hear the applause in the background from the SpaceX team gathered around the Mission Control Center as we're watching the three Merlin engines on the first stage light, and we have got shutdown for the boost back burn. So currently we're coming up on T plus seven minutes. Second stage continues to head into orbit. First stage is coming back to the drone ship. Let's go bound to the floor for the landing burn and the entry into orbit of the second stage. So as you just saw, the uh, re-entry burn for the first stage has just completed and looks successful. Uh, you can still see camera footage from the first stage descending down. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to maintain video all the way down to the drone ship. 
What a great shot that is. It's beautiful. Now, so as you know, sometimes we lose that video in the drone ship. There's a lot of vibrations happening there. Um, we're going to try our best to keep that link. And hopefully, once that landing burn hits, we'll catch it. We'll see it visually. And if all goes well, Falcon 9 will be standing proud there on the deck of our drone ship. Uh, you may have noticed little puffs of uh, what look like smoke coming out from between the grid fins every once in a while. Um, those are part of the attitude control system. Uh, I, I think this is the, the, the landing burn. It looks like the landing burn has just started, uh, so we should be coming right down on the deck of Just Read the Instructions. Uh, this is a single engine landing burn, so it's a, a slower uh, decrease in speed. Wow. You can uh, actually see the deck of the, the rest of right now. <laughs> <laughs>